Ooh. All right, I know, man. We've done, that too, <laughs> we've done that too many times, man. <laughs> I don't like being the guy behind. I, I don't. Right. I, I just like being able to press record, right. you know, and just get to the end. Like, oh, we ain't even get it, y'all. Just, just let it happen. You just should do that at the end of every episode. Just be like, hey, we ain't even recording, yeah, bro. And just, just get the record. Just get, get the reaction. The, yeah, that's funny. We was high. Be like, oh man, <laughs> I've actually started the show a few times and had like great. With like four yeah. or five minutes in, yeah. flowing, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you try to recreate it, and you're just like the redramatization no, 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 is never the no, same. No, it's never the same. It's never the same. So uh, you know, I usually like to the guests to introduce themselves, All and right. and I I'm, I always explain it, but I think it's cooler because then I'm just hyping you up. All right, you know what I'm saying. I, I want sure. you to hype yourself up, or how would you like to be introduced? So, All right, um, go well, I, I go by DJ Fresh, aka the world's freshest, better known as. DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh. Mm -hmm. I'm a DJ, producer, musician, composer, father, positive thought practitioner, mm. and uh, all the, uh, everything else in between, man. Yeah, yeah you know, so you've been, you've kind of like been in orbit uh, with the gang, yeah. you know, since you work with Currency, For and sure. uh, I think we've like met before or, yeah. or been on the tweets or all that. or something. But I've only got to really get to know you within this, the last year or so. Yeah, you moved to Vegas recently, yeah. and just like going through your shit and just all the people that you've worked with, like you yeah. and, and roster. And, yeah, so. I mean, and it, it's kind of low key with it. I mean, yeah. I'm not from the West Coast, so you know, okay, your name. But Probably. you're from the Midwest, though, right? Uh, well, I'm Pittsburgh, from, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. I'm from Philly okay, originally, yeah. so like East, East Coast, Coast and, East then, Coast and sure. then Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I, I'll i just admit it. Like, you know, there's names in the West Coast that yeah, like yeah. that didn't ring for me for a while. But then when yeah. you, when you you know, visit those places and you hear those names, yeah. like um, you start to recognize who those people are. Like mm -hmm. uh, like Big Vaughn, for example. Yeah, you know? shout like, out Vaughn. Uh, yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. like, you know, I didn't really know about Vaughn until like, Later and then I'm just like, oh shit, you yeah. know, like E40 shouting him out of yep. on this shit, and, I'm, yeah. and and the legend that he is, yep. and so I kind of feel like that's like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what happened with his um, there was a you know the saying uh, used to be uh, six degrees of separation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I seen it go from six to five to mm -hmm. four yep. to three to right. two to just like damn near one. We damn near one or two separations from anybody right. who we're trying to get in anybody, contact with. Right, so you know I've been doing it for so long. I started when I was nine. I'm 42. And uh, you just, if you just keep doing, you just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep doing, keep working. Like it's just a matter of time before you tap in with everybody. Right. And as long as you keep your and, your work ethic high and everything else high, like it'll all start to work. But out I for think you. The, the confidence really lays into that you're good at something. Oh, I'm I'm great. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is that you're really, and that's like what I try to tell. Yeah. Um, you know, because a lot of people are just trying to be cool guys in the game, yeah. right? And I, I always tell my young homies, I'm like, look, no one ever calls me and says, you know any cool guys? Yeah. You know, they're always like, I need a producer. I need, yeah. a, you know, they're like, hey, you know a guy who uh, is yeah. just cool? Like, yeah. and that, that's how I try sure. to tell these young kids because they think that they're like a Swiss Army knife, but the reality is like, we need people that are good at something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? uh, uh, t t uh, hard work matters, talent matters, and um, right. you and know. you got it all, man. Like it's just fun watching, like you getting to know you just from you know connecting and being like, damn, you know, he was doing serious DJ shit sure. competitions. Yeah, you you're a musician. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And yeah. then just watching, you know, all all your whole discography, you know, yeah. coming from like the 2000s and all the way here, you have something every single year consistent. Yeah, constantly working. And uh, of course the sound is crazy. And then like, Appreciate you know, it. then you're just like on tour with the living legends and yeah, just legends, doing shit like every, that. Everything, so it's like, everything. dude, you are yeah. um, well established. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm hip hop, I'm music. I'm just, I'm all that. You know what I mean? I'm just, um, I just love to work. You know what I mean? I'm definitely a person where I let my work speak for me right. you know what i'm saying even though we're in a time where like you know you do got to be more front and center which i'm cool with right. you know what i'm saying but i always want to lead with the work because my i can talk it all but i can walk well shit, the thing that i so. know um that you definitely have and i think that uh this is a lot of like you don't hear this a lot um is uh i forgot the word i was gonna say uh oh is um <sighs> the fuck man stoner stoner fucking <laughs> moment oh uh is that you have um fuck what it starts with a d what's the word am i looking for drive not just drive you just have like 
the consistency. You, discipline. Discipline. That's the word. My favorite word. Yes, that discipline. That's, discipline. That's the one thing I know from you yeah. is that you definitely have just this discipline because it, I, you know, ever since you started coming back on the radar, or just like me meeting you, like you just haven't stopped. Yeah, and never then, stopped. And then the mind frame of it too is good. It's like you've given a lot of people gems, like on your yeah. Twitter, and just like a. But it's yeah. not too preachy. It's not like, but it's just like your consistency. Yeah, um, I say you, that all the time. I say, yeah. I say the best things come to those who work hard consistently, not occasionally. Right. And you wake up. You you said you work out. You wake up. I'm you up work at five, out. six, seven a.m. Tell I, me about the discipline, because I feel like people need to hear that as. Because people definitely catch the producer, yeah. sort of like, okay, he's a producer, he's hot, blah, 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 but like... Well, 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 listen, listen, like, that's why you always got to pay attention to the verbs, not the words, mm. and we are all our habits. Right. All of us are our habits, and if we weren't, then it'd be easy for a drug addict to not be a drug addict no more. Right, right. You dig what I'm saying? Right. So whatever you're doing, the most, most, whatever you're doing frequently is your frequency, shout out 19 Keys, right. whatever you're doing frequently is your frequency, so you got to get to a space where, like... If you say you want to do something, right, because right. the best way to change who you are is to change right. what you do. Right. You feel me? If you want to go higher, you got to get rid of some. You got. You only get a certain amount of energy every day. Right. You feel me? So you got to. That's where that discipline come in. Like, man, I don't feel like doing this right now, but I'm going to do it, though. And, right. and, 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 and look, you might not feel like get them go, go, to, go to a work that you hate doing, right? right. But you got to do it because you got to pay them lights. Okay, so you mean to tell me you got the opportunity to do what you love to do every day right. and you ain't going to do it? Right. And I, I'll be honest, I struggle with that because <laughs> everything uh, is struggle. It's right. okay to struggle, struggle though. Right. But because, it's a well, mindset though. Well, well the, the good thing is that I've done it before. Yeah. And that's what like, you know, so I've been telling people about, you know, what's next for me, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, well, I know I could basically do anything I you wanted do to. do anything, man. I know that part because so, I did it. You yeah. know, I was like the way that I look where we at. Yeah, well, just the way I approached turn, you know, DJing, and just like how I did it, how I did it in Pittsburgh. Like yeah. it didn't, you know, I want there was, it didn't matter about money. It was just like yes, yes, yep. just say yes, to everything. Yeah. Uh, and now I'm like, if I could choose, if I wanted to spend ten hours in the studio every day, or if I wanted to choose ten hours, and and so I just think that like you know sometimes like. Uh, that part is hard for me right now as far as discipline's concerned because yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just like I know I could do anything I just yeah. gotta fucking choose it you know but when I but see for me I'm taking it a step further like like I always I separate Marcus Brown from DJ Fresh right okay and when I say discipline I'm not just talking about the music that's that's already in me but I'm also saying like because I don't work no I don't work ten hour days neither I might I might probably only work like two or three hours I get into bed at eight p eight p.m. nine p.m. Right. I'm out unless I gotta go do something I'm right. I'm tapping out because I'm gonna right. get up at five but what I'm saying is though having that discipline for like man I, let me go, let me let me go to the gym let me go right. let me let me do this extra set let me let me practice my keys let me read let me like whatever it is i'm trying to do it like i'm just right. saying just having that discipline right. Where, like, so did was uh, did someone help you with that like did you i mean i'm sure you had like your yodas or whatever like or was this just something it's just the way i grew up because i grew up i grew up like you know like you ain't no mistakes you got you know what i'm saying so i always i always had that like like i got it i always had the mentality of like let me get it done. And, but also, too, though, like, I also understand that we're in a competitive world, right? We're in a right. competitive sport, right? So and it's actually kind of easy because most people are lazy. Right. Most people don't like to learn. Right. If the only thing standing between me and my me and my success is, is learning, right. most people are not going to want to learn it. We right. got Google, chat, GPT, all these things. People right. still lazy. And so it's, it's relatively kind of easy if you can have discipline and have consistency you're gonna win you might get there a little slower right. i totally can i just say uh, i admire that from you like you know so, um just because I'm, I'm looking at my journey, I was like, damn, man, I just, you're helping me and you're inspiring me right now to just be like, you know what, just like, let's let's go back to that discipline. Yeah, go back little, to that. Just a little, just a little bit. Bro, just a little, a little bit at a time. Slow, slow grind better than no grind. You right. feel me? And so, you know, just... I, like I taught myself how to like how you see me playing now. Right. I learned that in four years. Top of 2020, when everybody's stuck in the house for the most part. What the keys? Yeah. You weren't playing the keys like nah, that back in the day. Not at all. Well, like in 20. Not at all. 10. Not at all. Wow, dude. I learned that in 2020. 20 from 2020 to to now. You feel me? Right. And I didn't. I wasn't. I wasn't good. It took. It take time. Right, take time. Right, take right, time. Take time. Right. Take time. And that's the that, other man. thing too. People be rushing the process instead of trusting the process and just enjoying the process and just learning. You know, when you you learn more, when you earn more. All these right. things I say to myself to keep myself going and right. also to no, inspire. That. That's like but, uh, like you know spells, man. You know you tell spells. Me. Yeah, yeah, spells. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, spells. Yeah, that's yeah. a that's a real thing, man. Those right. real, these words are extremely powerful. What you what you say out and what you say to yourself. But I love it though. 
I'm like, man, once you once you unlock one level, it's like, dang, if I can learn how to do that, right. let me go try to learn how to do this and let me try to learn how to how to do that. So like your brain, what, you feel me? So how did um you know, I think this is a good question, especially for producers. How did you build all these relationships? I mean, I, and I would guess that a lot of it was, you know, when you were you from the Bay Area, right? Yeah. Like when you were younger, just like going to experience the scene and, and being a supporter of it? Well, I come I'm originally from Baltimore, Maryland. Oh shit. Okay. Right? And again, it's like I started when I was nine. So you so you remember like 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 Rock Radio was like my mentor. Okay. You feel me? So I used to go to New York. I used to go to the Bronx. Personally? Personally. Oh shit. Like you, you used me? to fuck with, like you used to Yes. He used to teach you. In real like wow. before the internet wow. type shit. Yeah, you yeah, feel no, me? Of course. Not before the internet, but you know what I'm saying? Right. I used to go I used to go to not all the time, but me and Total Eclipse. You asked Total Eclipse. Of course. He yeah. used to take me to a Rock Radio house and we would practice, you know what I'm saying? Before right. turntable right. be me. Raider, uh, uh, um, um, not sinister, not sinister, um, um, eclipse, and we were just you know DJ. I'm like I'm like 17, right. 16, young. But anyway, to answer your question though, um, just DJing and just being on the scene, doing battles and just networking and just you know just stay tapping in, stay tapping in, and then like you know I would I would do shows with uh with with Common when he was Common Sense, right? You feel me back wow. in the day? So you just you just build up your contacts over the years, over the years, over the years. And we also come from a time too when like being a DJ was like one of the most. I mean, it's still celebrated, but not like how it was back in the day. Like if you right. was a DMC champ back in the day, or ITF champ back in the day, right. rap rappers would right. know about everybody. Everybody, everybody right. would know yeah. about it. You feel me? Uh, DJing to me, and uh, I don't. This is just how I feel right now, right? Yeah. So when you watching this. Five, ten years from now or next week, I might my mind might change. It feels a little silly to me right now. It's like, very silly. Okay, man. cool. It's very because silly. people, because when I try to have that conversation with other DJs, like it's their full time shit. So like to them, you're like, what are you talking about? Because yeah. this is what we've known, what we do. But it feels a little silly right now to me. Yeah, it, it's it's um because anybody can easily it's just not respected like the same way it right. was. It was right. like you know you used to have to have the equipment. Come on, man. And I'm like a guy that you know. One of my biggest uh, uh, like advice, music advice was from the roots, like never do what they do, right? So yeah, like, no biting, you know, mm, when yeah. I was DJing, like it was definitely wasn't a lot of people doing it. And now I just see yeah. every, which I'm happy for. Like I'm happy that people are TikToking it and doing all the things. But this is something silly about it right now for me that I'm yeah. that I'm trying to get over. Yeah, I don't know if you can like relate. To I that just I'd be, be like, man, just respect me when the when the real ones come in the room. Just respect it. That's right. all I'm saying. You feel me? You go ahead and do what you do. You could be a laptop DJ. Well, I'm not even gonna clown you again. It, y'all, make, because it's so easy and right. so accessible right. and and silly just as you said. Out, it make my job. It make my job a lot easier because I know for sure that I'm gonna stand out and nobody can do what I do. I can't. I can't do what you do. You can't do what I do. Vice versa. Right. Woo, 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 woo. So right. you can go ahead and um do that <laughs> over there. You right. feel me? Right. Right. But. Damn when the, when the real ones come in the room, though, you feel me? Right. Well, I want to go back to uh, just uh, you know because I think Rock Raider, Rock Raider he, he helped a, he he helped a lot of people and yeah, um, he was v- very serious, you know. Yeah, he was serious yeah. um, about it. He t- what was that experience like? Just being with someone like no, that was I mean okay, so like before again, like I'm an OG, I'm 42. Before I'm, I'm gonna get to that real quick. Before the internet, like the only DJing I knew was um traditional mixtape DJing, right. right? Just blending blend, blending songs, right? right? And then once I saw DJ battle videos, you feel me? I yeah. saw that videos. Right. There's no internet yet, right. so I wasn't yeah, yeah, exposed no, like to the, this. The, the pickles versus all that, yeah, all like that on VHS. I saw that, you know, and yeah. Q and my guys too. Right. But um, once I saw that, that like changed my way of DJing. Where I was like, okay, I want the, the word turntable. This wasn't even out yet, right. but I was like, I want to, I want to, um, you know. Study this style or that. So, when, so by the time I met Rock Raider, I was um, you know, I was cool, but it's just greatness, man. Like it was, I was, I had idolized myself after him for right. a while. You feel me? While I was in my 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 battle era, yeah, right. Mode. But yeah, it was it was amazing being around him, man. The last and the last time I saw him was probably like ten years later. I saw him with or maybe more than that. I saw him with um Busta Rhymes, and I was on tour with Raekwon at the time. And uh, so you DJing for Raekwon? Yeah, I was DJing for Raekwon. Uh, well, well, keep going, keep going. I was DJing for Raekwon from Wu Tang, and um, I saw uh, Busta Rhymes and um, Rock Raider was Busta Rhymes DJ, and that was like the that was like the last time I saw him. It was like Rock the Bells, uh, L.A. Uh, uh, I can't remember where it was, but yeah, that was the last time I saw him. But that was you know good dude, man, special dude, and uh, you know that was that was a great moment in hip hop. You in my career as well. You feel right. me? 
Right. It's it, it is wild. Just like all the cats that you look up to, and then now you're like standing next to them. Yeah, that's working fool, with them. It's still, I still feel like a fan from 1990. Yeah. And, I, and I think that's the difference between, and this is just my opinion. Like kids now, mm-hmm. they like they have like you said, it's one degree. Yeah. Like yeah, the fact that that I might stand next to like a Green Lantern or a Nas or mm-hmm. do so, it to me is still like it's, yeah. It's just like, like, yo, I respect, which is helpful and also hurtful because I think it stopped me from just like putting shit out there because my bar is Nas. My bar yeah, is these yeah, guys, you know? Yeah, and right yeah, now, yeah. people just create and put shit out. And I, I wish I had that sort of yeah, less yeah. thinking about it too much. You yeah. know what I'm I mean, you, sol- I mean I, you gotta, you gotta, that's something that you gotta get over on your own. But from the outside looking in, you, you solidify. Right. So you already, you already know that. No, I but that. It's, it's, yeah, you gotta find the, the happy meaning. But yeah, you're right though, man. Like back in the day, like, like nobody like nobody takes autographs no more because they want the selfie. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. And um, you know, back in the day, like, you know, if you see it you see it you see an artist or whatever, you you might not never see that person, let alone you might only see him in concert, but let alone like be close like how you and I are, right? right but right. nowadays it could be goddamn whoever Anything. anybody in the room and then right. the per the, the, the average person is like they they be like yeah I'm a rapper I'm such and such and then our person like yeah well I'm such and such too and what and you know what I mean right. if we get a picture with you real right. quick it's it's about uh, they likeness and their attention what they gonna get versus the the actual ad, admiration for the artist and the art right. so those are the different time in in, um, in all aspects you know what I'm saying so so um, you know uh, you just dropped the Tonight Show. The yeah, compilation. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you got a lot of people on there. You know, yeah. Uh, my, big, my biggest album took me three years to make. Uh, it was the first time I dropped a, a major label album. It was on BMG, and we actually made history with that album. Shout out my manager Mark Breeze. But we made history with that album because they was like y'all the first y'all the uh, first people we did business with. Right. Um, that was able to drop a major label album like this with all these big artists both right. both uh, uh uh independent and right. um signed mm-hmm. and actually got everybody to sign off saying uh, it's okay it's okay to, to, to do it whoa, whoa, whoa. like they said nobody was ever able to do that before because and, and is that like would you attest that to your relationships with it's all, all the, relationships all person, like yeah, with it's, them? it's like, all re- it's all it's all relationships you know what i mean like it's you know because you know, can I can I curse? Yeah, of course. Because <laughs> niggas niggas don't like signing. They don't like signing. You know right. what I mean? It well, just it feel too much like like oh what's what, what am you, I signing? What are you gonna do? With right, it? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like we got. But is that, is that a testament to your relationships or a testament absolutely. to just how you carry yourself? And, and it's everything. It's right. everything. It's but yeah, it's 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 the it's the relationships. It's, it's God. I, man, I'd pray. I'd pray get this one. I mean go ahead and list I mean you got E40 Casey got, Veggies Currency yeah, La Russell yeah, uh, uh, P-Lo Larry June Larry June there's so many Nefta Pharaohs on yep, there uh, yep. it's uh, you said four uh, yeah. Lil B Jay Wor- J- yeah. Reverie yeah Reverie Jay Worthy Jay Worthy uh, Problem is on there Problem Stally shout from problem. Uh, problem. Ohio shout yeah problem. shout out Problem he, he got a new something coming out uh, quick um, but yeah that's it it's Kaz from Dreamville is on there. Baby, uh, Babyface Cuz, uh, Mr. Fab is on there. I am Sue is on there. I got a lot. It's, it's. I, I had, I had more songs too. I got, I got a. Deluxe. Yeah, I like that you put, the, you put the instrumentals out too. You yeah, yeah, there. yeah. You know, you know. So it's, uh, it's let's let's get specific. I feel like I see, um, I see you use uh, AI for a lot of your art, right? I use so I use, um, and I love the way you do it because it just allows you to keep. Um, you know, give a visual to like, yeah, and I, I'm that's something that I haven't really stepped in like using AI, but I, I'd like to hear it like because you're my age, so like, well, what I understand is about like you got to be fir- okay. Look, right now we're in a change of time, so by the time we get to 2025 this year, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, next year, mm-hmm. this time, mm-hmm. it's gonna seem like so long ago, bro. Right. You feel me? <laughs> like when we get to 2025 or March. Everything that we knew from in, in 2023 or in, in top of 2024 in January backwards, that's going to seem like five years ago. Right. It already does. Like By the time shit. we get to June, it's going to seem like so long ago. Like right. everything right. happened so fast. So, right. Right. But what I understand is, though, that's an opportunity. You feel me? Mm. It's, it's, it's just like, look, watch this. It's just like when the world went from uh, uh, traditional regular phone, cell phones mm. to smartphones, mm. right? You remember when you remember, remember back in the day when like if you wanted to know how to get somewhere we used to get on MapQuest and we used to print it out yeah. right we used to print it out right yeah. and then we have it in the car woo, woo, with your girl that woo, woo, y'all y'all yeah, navigating trying to get and then we yeah. went to the phones right mm-hmm. see that was that was a transition but now we in another major major transition we probably like, we probably won't never see another transition this drastic in a long time so but anyways though 
that's an opportunity because you can be first with the knowledge. You can be first with all the tools that's coming out. And so by the time everybody else catches up, right, you feel me? Right. You'll be so far advanced in right. your way I of see thinking. That, I see that from you, just the way that the way that you drop visuals for your shit. And yeah, it's just, it's, yeah. I don't want to say it's simple, but it's uh, you know, you're taking advantage of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I, I, man, I, I, I use, it. I use, it. Yeah, cause all I want is tools, bro. All this, all this is just tools. Can you give us the, like how you, like what programs you using? For I use, I use Adobe Firefly. That's like basically Photoshop. Okay. But it's, it's a, it's an AI based version of it okay. that they incorporated okay. with. You feel me? All right. That's all a game I'm gonna give. I can't give up all my tools, but I said, but that's a good one though. Right. That's a good one. I give it to you off here. Adobe Firefly. Yeah, I give it to you. I give it. I give it to you off here, but. Yeah, Adobe Firefly. That's that's. A, I mean, ChatGPT got one too. Have you used any AI in, in the music sense of it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, like there's that. a uh, stem stem separate. There's an AI one called L L A L A. I mean, Serato has it now. Right. But I was using this last year. Right. right. When, but that's what I'm saying. You got to be first. Right. You want to be right. first with the knowledge. Right. But um, there's a stem separator called uh, L A L A L, and you can you can basically put in like like say you put in um, standing on business song you got mm -hmm. right. Yep. And um, you could just get the drums if you want, or you could just get the chords if you want, or you could right. just, you know what I'm saying? So that's one that's one way of using. But it's all it's all AI, it's all AI based. You feel me? I love so, that man. Damn, yeah. you like you like a mad scientist, man. I just and I just I, I just do I, I just understand. And you. I just feel like the 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 best is yet to come for you, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. I really I really feel that. I mean, just watching you move and knowing how how creative you are and and there's like the i love the mystery too man i think there's like i, appreciate a, I think it, there's man. a mystery that is that people don't recognize that i feel like mystery is a part of it you know what i'm saying i'm gonna tell you what really did it though it's putting god first and when you say that can you go deeper on that like what, just, what's that mean to you when people say you put god first so what's that mean to you on like a daily cause basis because we because we because this is what i say i say i want for me what i want for me for sure but i want for me what god want for me even more mm -hmm. Because we as humans, human beings, we don't always pick well. Right. You feel me? Right. So when you put, so when you start putting, when you, and I'm not talking about religion and that either, not to get all deep into no, it, but like no, no, when no, you start, when you put, yep. when you, when you, when you put God first, right, in everything that you do, mm -hmm. what's gonna start to happen is your blessings is gonna start getting and bigger. But what's that specifically? So when someone hears that, like the gratitude, or you just making right decisions, or what's what is what does that mean to you? Like putting God first. What it, is that? It, it, it it's what it means. Everybody and their mama know right from wrong. It's just if you choose to ignore it or not. You feel me? You know right from wrong. You know good and goddamn well you shouldn't be doing this or you might not should be doing that. You shouldn't indulge with this person. You shouldn't right. indulge with this. Woo -woo. Right. You know it, right. but you ignore it, which is cool. You feel me? I'm at 42 and I came right. to this. Right. I've been practicing this. I mean, you life. haven't shot 100%, right? Like I'll never be 100%. <laughs> right, right, right. Nobody can be, like, we, nobody can be 100 except right. God. You can be 99 at best. Right. You feel me? But what I say is though, what I say is though, like once you start, once you start tapping in, once I started tapping into that, that's when everything got got. That's when that's when my life really started to change. That's when all the blessings started. I'm talking about like on speed dial type. Like I pray for something that that I that I um want, and it happened like that, bro. But here go the thing though. Right. What I was saying is though, once you start getting them blessings like that, one start one guy started blessing you big. Right, right. He gonna start testing you big too, and if you fail, the lessons gonna be big. You feel me, right. man? That's, <laughs> <laughs> I'm you talking to me because yeah. you know, even at my 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 age, man, like making the right decisions, even for it's yourself, not it's not easy, man. I'm, and I ain't no I ain't, I ain't, I ain't no saint, but I'm just I, and I'm not trying to be a saint, right. but I understand. You feel me? It's like I can't I can't ask for this right, right, and then um get that. But then I'm still moving like how I shouldn't be moving in this world. You feel me? Yeah. You can't have you can't have one without the other. You feel yeah. me? Damn man, you hit me. You sent me right in the. <laughs> Damn man. <laughs> you feel me? Hey, French fries. I feel bad at eating French fries. Nah, morning, but man. hey, listen. No, I'm yeah, yeah. You know, it's just you know, it's it's just. Hey, every, it's, I love that man. It's need, levels though. It's just I, I, levels. I need to hear that man. I need to hear that. It's just it's just levels. It's just levels. It's like I'm like I'm trying to. It's probably like my fifth trunk, fifth time trying to quit drinking you feel me like I'm, I'm i'm almost like three months in okay you feel me but now that ain't that ain't that ain't because like i'm having like no like condition or nothing right. like that that's just me understanding like you know what i know if i can cut this out right my life gonna get better right so wiz actually he stopped drinking for a year yeah that's dope and he Child literally wiz. like last weekend yeah. started like yeah. picked it up again yeah but for him for him to be able to do that yeah was 
very special to him that's and be like, I, I could choose to do that. And now he's like, I'm going to go back and have some fun again. Yeah, da, 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 da. So, that's what I'm saying. That's you know, things, things in seasons. You that's know, things ex- in seasons. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And shout out Wiz. Cause Wiz inspired me to start getting in the gym. He, I, I could, he's disciplined. I think, like, I haven't, I haven't been around Wiz that much, right. even though we got so much music. But what I can tell from him is, he's a person that like, once he makes his mind up about something, right. he can stick to it. Right. That's how I am too. Like once right. I make my mind, like I, I'll be loyal to a foe. I'll be loyal to the wrong situation sometimes. You feel right, me? Right. Right. But once I make my mind up that like, you know what, this is what it's gonna be and it ain't nothing God himself gonna have to come down here and say, Hey fresh, I don't whoo whoo whoop. Right. I'ma stick to it. You feel me? I love that man. This yeah. dude is like this is not a podcast at all. I'm like, <laughs> this is like a therapy session and nah, you were speaking to me honestly because um there's a lot that you do that Appreciate I it. that I hope that I'll have um, you know, uh just putting in that time. I mean, even just hearing that you you know, you got a f- how many keyboards you got, man? Uh, it's about this. Um, uh, it's like this. It's about fourteen. Yeah. 15, so just um, even hearing that you, that you, um, you know, just kind of picked up, picked that up during COVID, man. Yeah. I'm just like, that's so inspiring to me. Yeah, I taught right. myself saxophone. Like I'm about to drop an all saxophone album. I'm gonna have an artist on there. Now, I'm not hella good. I'm not hella good at right. sax, but right. I'm I'm efficient though. Right. I can get the job done. Right. You feel me? So what? Uh, so you know, for young producers out there, young DJs, man, like what what advice would My you? Advice? Yeah. You gotta be what you gotta be. You gotta be willing to be able to do this consistently and persistently for ten years. Right. You might get it in twenty. It took me twenty five, almost thirty. But if you got the mindset of like, damn, that's that's a lot of time. You already done lost. Now watch this though. If the average life expectancy of a man is between I don't know seventy and eighty. 20, 30 years is not a long time to dedicate towards something that you say you want to do for the rest of your life. Right. You gonna spend what? You gonna spend? You gonna spend more time talking about it and, and, and wasting time tripping about it than, than actually just doing it and taking taking right. steps towards it. You feel me? Right. Damn man, you got my shit. Hey, hey, if you want to get different, you gotta do different. <sighs> no, I see it. I see it. I love that, man. So, is there artists like you worked with a lot of artists? Are, are there? What's like your list of artists that you have not? worked with yet that i want to yeah or like you know or you would love to do like a full tonight show or like yeah. or, or you know whatever comes to mind uh i want to do something with jay-z i want to do some i want to do something with anita baker mm. and um i would love to do something with uh i would love to do some i would love to do something with um who else? Who else? I recently did some dope, sh- some dope shit with Don Tolliver. Oh shit! Yeah, I actually sent you that yesterday. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So yeah. Uh, you were on his ass album. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Lux, uh, what's Lux the pole? Sick Deluxe. What was it's the, the first pole? song on the album? Pole? What was it? No pole. No pole. Yeah. And he just performed it at Rolling Loud. He performed it Roll Out. Now watch this though. I made that beat in uh, tw- twenty. 20, 2020 is when I made that. Mm. I, I so me and Cardo made that together. Okay, shout out to Cardo. So remember when I said? So remember when I? Yeah, shout out Cardo. Remember when I said? When you when you learn more, you earn more, mm. right? Mm-hmm. That was at the beginning when I first started learning music theory. If I had never would have learned that, that would have never happened. So before that though, you were just kind of making beats as like I was just hip, going off hip hop or like you know. I was just scene. going off an of ear. Just I right. was a sample producer, and right. I still sample. Right. You know what I mean? But now I can, now I can replay the samples. Now I can, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? Um, I and I would and I would try to get around, but I had no understanding. Now if I, you, you could play me, you play me any song now. Mm-hmm. Especially if it's on the radio, right. you can give me a keyboard. I can figure out the chords. I can play it. I can replay it. I can right. reharmonize it. Right. I, I, I understand the, the the language of music now. So, w- did was there like specific like lessons you took, or you just taught yourself, or you just I bought watching? some I bought some courses. I invested in myself. You feel me? I bought some courses, and 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 um, my guy Kev Choice, he's like one of the best um, piano players, like literally in the world. You feel me? Right. And so, you know, you get better when you hang around people who are better than you. You right. feel me? And so just watching him and just he's so he's so good just watching him, you're gonna you're gonna learn, you feel me? Right. But um and my and my nephew uh Julian Avila too, he's also uh, one of Larry June's producer. But um I bought some courses, you feel me? I bought like three courses and 
I just I just learned it. I learned it, learned it, learned it, learned and those, it. And the, were they specifically like keyboard ones? Yeah, okay. yeah. Straight p yeah, straight pianos. Like yeah. ma- learning the majors, learning the minors, the, the dominant suspenders, all you know. What I'm I thought you were playing like your whole life, man. No, nah, I wasn't playing. Hard. I've been making beats my whole life. Like right, I right. like I said, I started DJing when I was nine, nine nine to eighteen. That was like my my DJ part of my career. I was only DJing battles, right, mixtapes, right. like parties, clubs, all that. And then, like, from 19 to pretty much maybe 35, 37, 36, I was only producing. I was only producing. Moving out here, like, I bridged them both together. You know what I'm saying? Once they came out with the rain, um, the rain one, mm-hmm. where it had the stems, mm-hmm. it was like I was able to, like, blend my world of DJing and my world of producing together. Because I wasn't DJing for a long time. You right. feel me? I, I was just straight, straight producing. But right when I got, as soon as I got back on it, um, it all just came back full circle. I had one third in the nation in ITF, so I was I was second in DMC right. and uh, DC. I never made it to DMC USA, but I made it to ITF uh, uh, USA. I had one, I had one third in that. Um, I had battled Snake Eyes uh, way back in the day. It's way back in the day. But then yeah, after that it was a straight Tonight Show, and I started producing Fab, you know, Fab the Mr. Fab the Forties, uh, Messy Mars. Um, Bunch of kick the sneaks, yuck. I pretty much I started in the Bay. As far yeah, as my, uh, what, like what was the move from you know Baltimore to the Bay? Like how did you end up in the Bay? So my mom moved us to to um to the Bay and sure. did the whole uh, uh, back and forth. How old, how old were you then? I was nine. Oh shit. Like oh like eleven, nine, okay. ten, eleven, somewhere around there. Right. And I did the whole back and forth thing because my pops still lived on the east, mm-hmm. but my mom was on the west. And I was going back and forth, going back and forth. That's also a big part of how I was able to network with everybody because I was doing my thing in the, in California, and I was doing my thing in Virginia, and I was doing my thing in New York, and then I would come back out to California, and then I'd come back to, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, so right. for years, my teenage years, right. I'm doing I mean, this. The influence. Yeah, and, the and influence. Like, yeah. You know, you learning from, yeah. Uh, you know, I was before the internet. That was before internet, the internet where, right, yeah, so every, like, like styles were so separate back then and wasn't like this, everybody sound the same yeah. type of type of thing like it was that was a crime back in the day but um so that's a blessing though to be able to like come up in the bay and like because oh, yeah. you know the bay is strong the man. bay is the bay yeah very strong yeah yeah man and, and then um you know so fast forward you know um i probably got i probably to to date when it comes to like uh other people's albums that i fully did uh instrumental albums as well as my own Tonight Show series. Right. I probably got, I probably got 100, 150 projects on the market. I'm over a thousand songs on the market. Right. And I'm, you know, like I said, I just released the biggest album of my career. Uh, me and Currency got another Tonight Show about to come out. What um, would you say to a person, not me? All right. <laughs> I'm just saying, no, what would you say to a person that's just like scared to put shit out, man? Uh, You know, because I feel like artists are very sensitive and like you know um you got to get over that yeah it's like it's like it's like uh being scared to holler at a woman you know what i mean right. don't don't fear don't fear the rejection but at the same time though you got you got yeah. you got you got you got uh rejection. bona fide stripes behind you though you feel me you right. got like real stripes but hit but you know what though never mind the woman right never mind that analogy I'm, i'll give you another one mm-hmm. if it sound good to you Bro, you don't rock clubs with thousands of people. Right, right, right. So whatever you make, or who, or whoever like, whoever has this fear, right? Right. If it sound good to you, that's all that matters. And it's gonna sound good to somebody else too. Now I can say that for for anybody. If it sound good to you, then run with it. If it sound good to your ear, run with it. If it sound good to you though, you for sure run with it because right. you don't rock hell right. of people. Right. So right. like. You feel me? If it sound good to you, then that motherfucker yeah. sound good. Yeah, I'm just waiting, I'm waiting on that time, man. Time is probably the hardest thing. The time is right time, now. Time, uh, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, just yeah, no excuses, no excuses. Yeah, the time is right I now. Need, I need to hear this is a ther- <laughs> this is not a podcast, right? This is therapy, uh, and I'm so glad that we got to um, cross paths. For sure, man. I think there's a, definitely a part two, three, four of just getting to know DJ Fresh. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you one though real quick. I got a tweet from like, cause I knew you before you knew me. The first time I met you, the first time I seen you, you actually didn't see me, you didn't know me yet, was um Help me remember. The, I have always no, had I got this you, I got you. Yeah, I, I, need I got help. you, I got you. Right, cool. I had a show we were at the I had I opened up for y'all. Me and my guy Grouch. You know Grouch. Yeah, yep, yep. We opened up for you and Wiz 
um this is in hawaii um he, uh this is like this is before uh, this is before uh i can't I, I can't remember what what app was out yet but he was with uh, uh amber amber rose at mm -hmm. the time she was she she was there I think it was her birthday. Yeah, I want to say she sang "Happy Birthday." I have that video on my YouTube. Actually. It was something like that. Yep. Yeah, it was. And 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 um, but I seen you rock that crowd, man. I seen you rock that crowd, and I was like, man, bro, I was up there killing it. I didn't know who you, I didn't know who you was, and then I met you, and um, we exchanged lines. I got your Twitter. This one, this was Twitter was right, the right. thing. Was it? Time. Yeah. And I tapped in mind. with you. And um, it, you know, we spoke. You know, you was cool. All, all the shit. But I'm. I had knew you, but. Fast forward ten years or whatever, right? And then when um, the opportunity came around for me to start working with Wiz again, I remember I had, I, I had hit you. I don't think you had seen it, but I just say all that to say that like you just never know where you're gonna end up, right. and you never know how like people gonna tap in with each other later on down the right, line. Because right. to me, I don't like when somebody say no. If I want to do something with somebody, right. somebody say no. Right. I don't hear no. I just hear not right now. Right, right. You feel me? No. Nah. I love it, man. You got so many gems. Uh, the one thing I, you've been saying a lot, play ball. Play ball. You know what I'm talking about? It's time to go, man. Drop that shit right now. As a matter of fact, as soon as this podcast is over, whatever you think about doing, just put it out, bro. Put it, put it, put a release date on it and put it out, bro. I'm going to do that. Just do it. I'm going to do that. We can, we, can, we can do one, too. But yeah, play ball just mean like it's, it's, it's go time. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you don't want to get said, to uh, What was it? Like 2020 forward. 2020 forward. Yeah, he's, he's 2020 forward. It's the guy right here. That 2024. Not 2024. Right. 2024. 2020 fast forward, for real. Now, I like you guys to get to know DJ Fresh even more. Check out his Are we music. Over there? Sure. Uh, the timeless, uh, you know, the sound of uh, your last project, the Tonight Show compilation, is that just like. I, you know that West Coast feeling real good, yeah. So, like kind of battle cat sort of okay, like yeah, good shout feeling. Out. Shout out, shit. Um. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, you know, definitely worth checking out. And it's timeless. That's the one thing I love about what I your music is. That. It's super timeless. You I know exactly that. where you're doing. You exactly where you're going. And I must say, Man, I, appreciate uh, that. I haven't been this inspired in a while. Like just sitting, and that that's like something that I, that like um, that I'm that I've been saying to myself recently is like. Uh, and I can admit this, like music hasn't necessarily been driving me. Yeah. Um, it's people. Yeah. And and like that. music right now you has been my vehicle. And I think I need to like get back to just connecting like this uh, in a real yeah. way. Because this is inspiring. You know, like when you when you have a platform or people know who you are, you like try to uphold like this whole thing. But I think what's really real is everything you're saying is like yeah. doing the work behind closed yeah. doors. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. you know, you really got me um, really motivated with, you know, putting God first. And Put God and, first, and, man. And, and I think one even, step at a time. even asking someone that, like, what's that mean? I've never really asked someone what that means. Cause you hear it all the time, put God first, but what's that mean? But you know, uh, how you shared it and the words you chose today really, uh, I, I would say, affected me today. So thank you for that. Man, man. I, I, I appreciate them words of power, King. For no, sure. no, I appreciate you. DJ Fresh, get to know him. Where, where can they find you, man? Uh, man, uh, IG is all, it's just DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh, all correct spelling, DJ F-R-E-S-H, DJ F-R-E-S-H. DJ F R E S H three times just like that. You gotta you gotta say the whole thing like a tribe called Quest. You feel me? And uh, you can check out my website DJ Fresh The Tonight Show DJ F R E S H T H E T O N I T E S H O W dot com. And you can also check out DJ Fresh X three dot com. That's DJ F R E S H X three dot com. Easy to find, man. Tap in with me. I tap in with those who tap in with me. I function with who function with me. Come me positive. I come right back with you the same energy. And I play ball, man. DJ Bonix. Hey, man. I appreciate it. Welcome appreciate to, uh, you know, Hardeen Premium for Cannabis for Dispensary for Pod. For and normally I have these joints rocking for 15 minutes, but, you know, yeah. uh, there, I, I wish I could go 15 hours, man. I think you have a man, lot of gems. Me anytime. I'm going to tap me into me you, and uh, we're looking forward to see, you know, what DJ Fresh got next. That's good, man. Much love. Appreciate you. DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh. We appreciate it, man. Thank that you. That was dope. Oh, that was perfect, bro. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, man. Hardeen, Las Vegas. Las Vegas.